40 years? Yeah. I don't. I, I used to like those as kids. Coke yeah. was what we called them. Yeah. But I, but I haven't. Uh, I, I moved on. With, I matured. Well, you know? Well, hey, if you want to drink something delicious, a Diet Coke and sugar free ice cream float, that'll get you going. I bet it will get you going. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It'll get you going for like that's, three days that's without disgusting. sleep. That's disgusting. <laughs> I may try that. Ice Somebody cream. suggest a Sprite float, which I've never had, but I will give it a try, Lisa. A Sprite. Now, well, you got to have I, lime sherbet with that. I, I would suggest going the Sprite peanuts route. That's a pretty good combo right there. I've tried. When I f first pastor to church here in Mississippi, yeah. they, they said, you got to try peanuts in the Coke. I've never done that. And that was disgusting. Peanuts in the Sprite. That's pretty good. Check it out. All right. Uh, of course, it all depends on your taste, doesn't it? All right, we'll be back momentarily with more of... Thank you, Chris. Thank you, you did an outstanding job. Absolutely. <laughs> The views and opinions expressed in this broadcast may not necessarily reflect those of the American Family Association or American Family Radio. 90.5 KTXG Greenville, Dallas. Of wealth, you went through a loss of reputation. Share truth, apply scripture. He he just lost everything. He he lost I mean, his, 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 his family. family. Job was steadfast in his trust that God was good no matter what that goodness looks like in the moment. Join the conversation Saturday afternoon at 5.30 Central on American Family Radio. This is American Family Radio, a listener-supported ministry of the American Family Association. Friday after a three-year battle with pancreatic cancer. 
In his 48 years of public ministry, he authored 31 books that sold more than 6 million copies. His biographer, Colin Hansen, tells AFN Keller had a special love for urban ministry. I know that just about anywhere in the world I might visit, if it's a major city, no matter how secular it might be, chances are that there is a church there, and it was either directly planted by Tim or it was in some way inspired by him. Among the online tributes to Keller's life was Christian artist Stephen Curtis Chapman, who spoke of the hope we all have in Christ. Tim Keller has gone to be with Jesus, and as we are praying for and remembering his wife, Kathy, his family, his friends closest to him, um, remember this with me. We can breathe with hope Cause we believe with hope There's a place Where we'll dance in the light of His grace And a place Where we'll see your face Again I'm Steve Chordall the Federal Reserve will make only modest progress in its fight against inflation for the rest of the year, even while keeping its benchmark interest rate at a 16-year high. That's according to the latest National Association for Business Economic Survey. More news online at AFN.net and download the AFN mobile app for your Apple or Android device. I must be here. Forget about Facebook. The last 10 days we've been banned twice. And is unbanning a word? They put us under the ban. Christians and conservatives don't need to YouTube. Banned one day. Banned again. AFR programs are now live streaming on the AFA streaming app. Now you can get shows like today's issues straight from the source. Put it back on the net. Just say unbanned. Unbanned. Just search AFA streaming or visit streaming.afa.net to sign up. Today's Issues continues on AFR with your host, Tim Wildman, president of the American Family Association. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Today's Issues on the American Family Radio Network. Tim Wildman here with Ava Tagliano, and we welcome you to this program. we got 25 more minutes of... Today's issues left. Comments at AFR.net is your email address if you want to send us an email. Comments at AFR.net. Steve Jordahl. Good morning. Steve Paisley Jordahl. Yeah, got the Paisley going. Is that is that Paisley or is that hybrid? It, well, it, there's Paisley in it. I don't yeah, it know is Paisley. Yeah. I like that shirt. It's 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 a excellent color. Thank you. I'm uh, encouraging Ed today. So thank you. Yes. Great color. He's positive thank and you. encouraging. Yeah. He's Caleb Ed. Thank today. you, Caleb Ed. <laughs> Caleb Ed. <laughs> Positive and encouraged. Yes. I need Positive to announce uh, that I'm, I'm I'm proudly no longer a Nazi. Yes, I'd be canceled with the best of them. You might you might need to explain that. <laughs> You're no longer a Nazi. That's that means correct. you were at one time. Oh, you, I, we didn't see that on your resume, <laughs> Steve, when you applied for the job. Full here. disclosure, you hit that. Yeah. Um, no, over the weekend we had uh, the Sound of Music in Columbus, and I oh. played a German <laughs> character on there, and. Uh, so uh, that, that, that run is over. We had a great time. Uh, but I'm back to being all uh, over freedom. I'm, I'm all about freedom now. So all you're about fashion. You all, you're not a Nazi, although you did play one on stage. I did stage. play one on TV, right? Or on stage. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good time. A good run. Uh, all right. Uh, what do you got, Steve? Let's start with some media. Um, I tell you, the, the fallout from the Durham report. Remember, this is the report yes. that came out last week that found that the FBI was corrupt in its dealings with uh, the President Trump and the Russia Gate investigation. And the left has been kind of going crazy because uh, you hear over and over from everybody, nothing burger, nothing right. here. It was nothing. It's just, you know, look, no uh, uh, con convictions or whatever. It's just they just downplay it, downplay it, if they even mention it at all. Except for, I got a couple commentators from the left that are normally liberal that uh, are kind of saying something's not right here. That, that it's that it's that it's not only not a nothing burger, it's a something burger. It is a something burger. Let me start with Jake Tapper on CNN, who said this, cut six. President Trump appeared so confident of what Durham would find, he openly uh, pressured the special counsel to release his findings before the 2020 election. 
Regardless, the report is now here. It has dropped. And it might not have produced everything of what some Republicans hoped for. It, it is, regardless, devastating to the FBI. And to a degree, it does exonerate Donald Trump. And uh, Chuck Todd. Chuck Todd of M at MSNBC. Of all people, listen to what he has to say. Cut seven. Look, trust in the FBI is eroding left and right. Um, feels like we're in the moment that we need a real church committee, that this is a moment like Jay, I mean, the J. Edgar Hoover FBI clearly was no longer helping the American people. There was a moment. It feels like we might be in one of those moments. I tell you what, um, these quotes from Chuck Todd and um, Dick Tapper are found in Revelation chapter 10. Wow. <laughs> if you look closely there, you've got to read between the lines yeah, I guess, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so the end of the world is here. So you're saying like there's signs in the uh, yeah. signs of the sky. Did CNN and NBC say the FBI is out of control? Then, then I'm just saying. Uh, obviously, I'm being facetious here. I'm joking around, but I'm just saying uh, that uh, that you you would never have thought you would hear, hear that. When you fly, I was very surprised. Now, Jake Tapper, uh, I'm not as surprised. Every once in a while, he does seem to be even-handed on things sometimes. But Chuck Todd, that was uh, that, uh, that was a real uh, that was a real surprise to me. Now. The reference to the church committee, that was uh, Frank Church, who was a Democrat senator, I believe, from Idaho in the 1970s. I was still in high school, so I want to say 74, 75. They held hearings on abuses on the part of the CIA. Right. Uh, you know, Vietnam and, it, it, and some it, of the other places. It looked at the FBI as well. But oh, it did? I, I did not know that. Okay. So th that's his reference to another church committee. Uh, that's, that's a shocker. Uh, to hear Chuck Todd say that. You know, uh, Keith Oberman, the former uh, MD, MSNBC or NBC commentator, he just came unhinged. Oh, um, he's calling for Jake Tapper to be fired. Yes. Because he dared say that there's something that could possibly, you know, come from this church report. Uh, it's so fun to watch their hairline on fire. Just got to tell you. Hair on fire. Yeah. I like it. Excellent, excellent commentary. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, there does the FBI has been um, their, their credibility and their reputation has been just taken a uh, severe hit in the last what couple of years. And when when Chuck Todd from from NBC and Jake Tapper from CNN say something's wrong, something needs they need to, then there's you think you know that something it's almost it's undeniable. You could list off the things uh, that the FBI has done or not done for the last four or five years where you go, they, they're completely on one side. They're right. completely pro-Democrat. Politicized. They're politicized, weaponized. Also, you remember, uh, what was it, 10 days ago or so, when the uh, House of Representatives subpoenaed information from yeah. the FBI? Yeah. You need to hand this over to us as the people's representatives, having to do with the Biden family making a lot of money off, uh, well, potentially illegally, okay, uh, while Biden was VP and Hunter Biden and all that. And the FBI said, we're not doing that. We're not going to comply with the subpoena. And remember that? Yeah. Yes. Sort of a standoff. And uh, that's when uh, uh, Kevin McCarthy, the Speaker of the House, said, I'm going to call Christopher Ray." And he did Friday night. And said, and persuade him to not make us take the next step is the way I right. understood it. In other words, the, in the end, the House of Representatives would win. Because the FBI is not a co-equal branch of the government. Right. They can't say they can't say to the House of Representatives uh, which subpoenas they won't will and won't comply with. Right. So anyway, the, now uh, what did you say that they? Well, Kevin McCarthy. This uh, what I read. Uh, I think it was early this morning. Is it Kevin McCarthy? Maybe it was over the weekend. But Kevin McCarthy said he called FBI Director Christopher Wray. They had a conversation. He said, "I feel sure that the director Christopher Wray." 
will, in the end, release the, the information. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. All right? well, the arrogance, to me, of, of an FBI director saying, I'm not complying with the subpoena right. by the House of Representatives is shocking. Yes. Huh? It is. And, and you know, the, I don't know whether it was uh, Attorney General Merrick Garland, Steve, you might know, or Christopher Wray, uh, the FBI director, uh, when this uh, Durham report landed, one of the two said, well, we've, yeah, we were aware of those issues and we've already made corrections. You guys remember what I'm talking about? That was, was that oh, last yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. Let me pull yeah, I know what you're saying. So, you're saying. made corrections of what? All right, so there must have been problems. And, and so, the, the Durham report, now maybe they're not agreeing publicly with everything the Durham report said, but if, if, if the Durham report lands and you go, yeah, we're aware of some issues, we've made corrections, then you are, in essence, admitting that there right. were rogue elements within the FBI. And remember, a lot of the things that this Durham report covers happened under the Trump administration. So it's not just that when you switch from Trump to Biden, the FBI supports whoever's in office. No, this was the FBI, at least people at the top making decisions, who were supporting the left, even while they were supposed to be... Uh, working for the Trump administration. So there are obviously factions rooted deeply into the fabric of the FBI that have been politicized 